To create this design, I'm going to add a cylinder and I will go with the 16 volts. Then scale this cylinder along the X and Y axis. Then apply the scale. Add a center loop cut like this. Then use the knife tool and create cut in 30 degree angle like this. After that, take the symmetry along the X axis. Then turn on the X-ray mode and deselect these faces and delete the remaining part. Shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into 120 degree angle in this way. After that, select everything and press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Then select the circular faces and Ctrl X to dissolve these edges. And then I am going to hide this object. Shift A and get this pipe joint and here you can select the pipe Y joint. You can change these parameters to get a proper results as per your requirement. This is the easier way. For this, you need to turn on the extra mesh add-on in Blender. So here is the base mesh. Then select these faces. Then use the insert operation on them and then extrude along the normal like this then select these edges and control b add bevel on them then select these edges and control b add bevel on them add four segment bevel and give the proper bevel width then add few loop cuts like this after that select this face loop with the shift select and press alt s to scale them along the normal then select these edge loops and control b add bevel on them add a two segment bevel and shape factor should be one then hit the control 2 to add the sub D modifier. Then go to the rate mode and select the stop faces and snap the 3D cursor to it. Then shift A and add a rounded cube and division should be 4. And then scale it down and delete the sub D modifiers. Then select that rounded cube, go to the rate mode and select this bottom faces and then delete them. Then move these words along the Z axis. Then select both the objects and join them. After that select this H loop and right click bridge H loop. Then select this edge loop and move it along the z-axis. Then add sub D modifier and shade smooth it. Then select these faces and move them along the z-axis. Then you need to add a torus. Major segment should be 32 and minor segment should be 8. Then snap it to the world origin and then rotate it into 90 degree. Then press Alt S to scale it along the normal and adjust the scale. Then here, select both the objects and join them. Then select these face loops and delete them in this way. Select these faces and delete them. Then select these faces and use the loop tool circle option. Then use the insert operation and press Ctrl X to dissolve these edges. Then delete this face. Then select these edge loops and right click bridge edge loop. Create a connection. Here you can dissolve this edge also. And then select this edge loop and Ctrl B add bevel. Then move this edge along the Z axis in this way. Then select everything mesh symmetrize. Then select this face loop and delete them. Take the symmetry. Select these faces and press P to make a separate object. Shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into 120 degree angle like this. Then select this edge loop and right click bridge edge loop. Add new loop cut at there and then dissolve these edges. Then repeat the same thing here also. And then select everything may symmetrize. Then select everything and press M and merge by distance. Then here, select these face loops and delete them. Then select this edge loop and scale it along the Y axis like this. Then press F to fill the gap. And then use the insert operation. Then here, you need to select these words and merge them at the center like this. To avoid that overlapping of words. Then you need to use the knife tool and create cuts like this. Select this edge loop and use the set flow on it to maintain the good edge flow. Then use the knife tool and create cuts like this. Here you need to create a right topology to maintain that structure. So just create cuts and merge words. Use the knife tool and create cuts in this way. Then add one loop cut and create one more loop add there with the help of knife tool. And then connect these words in this way to decrease those edge loops. Okay, then dissolve these edges here. Then here use the knife tool and create a straight cut like this. And then redirect this edge flow with the help of knife tool. Then dissolve this edge and add one more loop cut here and select these words and connect them. Then add another loop cut to maintain that harder edge and then select everything may symmetrize. Then select these faces and delete them. One more time you want to repeat this design so that's why you need to select these faces and delete them. Pretty simple. Then select everything, duplicate it and rotate it and complete the circle and merge the words. 
after that select these faces and use the insert operation and then use the loop tool circle option and scale them in this way and then dissolve these faces use the insert operation and then delete these faces select this edge loop and right click bridge edge loop and select these edges and add bevel on them in this way and one more time add a bevel and this time shape factor should be 1 and add a 2 segment bevel to get a sharper edges then select everything which symmetrize here I can turn on the matte cap view and cavity and you can see the detail I'm getting you can see the design I'm getting this is just experimental modeling I did here so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye see you next video take care